Hello, I am Itesh Pradhan from LabVIEW and Multisim. It is 8th number video of the lecture series of LabVIEW tutorial. In this session, we will discuss about the polymorphic function. It is a part 2 of array data type. And in this session, we will discuss about the polymorphism. So let's start today's session. Now, come here. So what is the polymorphism? Polymorphism is the ability of VI and functions to automatically adopt or accept the input as a different data types. So let's discuss about this polymorphism and let's see how the polymorphic behavior come across the programming and when we can encounter with the polymorphism right click the most of this numeric functions so the polymorphic behavior polymorphism is ability of program where a program can accept two different data type as an input so for that first example is addition up to number Now, take addition functions. So it is the addition of a plus b two number. You know very well, if I will write something, so it will add. If I will write something, so it will add properly. Now, if no matters, if I will change, no matters, if I will change the representation u8 to u8, so also it will be a change. So now, these are two different kind of the data types. Yes, both are, you, you will say, both are the numeric data type, but still, one is the string, sorry, one is the integer data type and another one one is the integer data type and another one is my floating data type, DBL data type. So it is the first structure of polymorphism. It will easily add my numbers without any problem. Now if I will convert it into the U8, okay, so it is the first behavior. Now, suppose I am taking same numeric control x and converting into the u8, take one more y, convert in, into z. Suppose here, if I will take a boolean, or option, now it's x or y. So it's the behavior of polymorphism because we know very well this boolean or function has been is designed for this boolean or functions is designed for boolean functions okay this boolean or function has been designed for boolean functions but it can control the numeric also If you think the OR functions is the addition functions, so that is wrong. You have to work on your BTEC concepts or your engineering concepts. It's completely wrong. You are very much aware about this OR function, so I am going to delete this one. Let's discuss about this. Run the program. 0 or 0 
सॉरी जीरो और जीरो जीरो वन एंड वन और जीरो वन टू और जीरो टू वन और जीरो वन जीरो और जीरो अगेन वन वन और वन वन हेयर यू कैन नॉट सी वन प्लस वन इट इज नॉट एड फंक्शन इट इज ऑल फंक्शन टू और वन थ्री बट टू और टू टू थ्री और टू टू फोर और टू सिक्स बट फोर और थ्री सेवन ओके फाइव और सिक्स नॉट एट इट सेवन सिक्स और थ्री सेवन सेवन और थ्री सेवन एट और थ्री इलेवन इट इज और फंक्शन सो इट इज स्मॉल एग्जाम्पल अ पॉलिमोर्फिक बिहेवियर लेट्स गो हेड नाउ क्रिएट एन एरे राइट क्लिक हियर कम हियर तन क्रिएट एरे Change to array. Let's see. Suppose here I am going to put one value. Nice. Take addition functions. If you will take a addition function, so now the one input is array. The one input is array. If I will take one more numeric, so I can connect it easily. Create indicator. So here I can say array plus a. If I will change the name a, so it will be a array plus a. Array plus a. Output will be a array plus a. Let's check the real let's check the real so suppose here i am going to run the program if i will increase it so now 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 1 6 if i will decrease it it is a polymorphic behavior why because the array this one is array it is a different data type and it is also a different data type okay the main unit element are same is clear in place of this let's copy and paste here just no need to copy and paste just copy and paste here okay right click come here and take a multiply functions you know very well the multiply function will perform same with this number it's a multiply with b suppose if i will take a multiply functions here and if i will try to multiply this array with this number so the output will a double r a y array multiply with a so output will be here array multiply with a let's check here run the program now you can see 2 multiply with minus 2 multiply with 1 minus 2 min 2 multiply with minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 minus 8 minus 10 if it is clear so let's see the next possibility for this polymorphic function so now here i am going to take one more array right click come here 
take one more array create one more array so now array 1 array 2 in this array i am going to write the negative number up for the same if i will try to add this number so it will give me a proper output 000 why because now the addition is going to be now addition is happening with the index by index minus uh, 1 plus minus 1 2 plus minus 2 3 plus minus 3 4 plus minus 4 5 plus minus 1 suppose here if i will increase the array size and if i will write some value like 6 and if i will run the program so it will give me only 5 value in this case it will follow only the smallest array it will follow the smallest version of array smallest array so now what is the output array plus a double r a y array 2 array plus array 2 array plus array 2 So this is a polymorphic behavior where you can see these numbers are you can add sorry uh, these addition functions or uh, these functions are showing the polymorphic behaviors. Suppose if I will replace this one with the multiply and run. Now you can see here it's again taking only the five element based on this smallest one okay based on this smallest ones is taking only the smallest okay five input and five output let's see suppose here i am taking a string take one more string right click come here come into the comparison equal let's try to equate this comparison these comparison blocks so again so the polymorphic behavior indicator suppose here if i will write my name let's increase the size again if i will write my name here N I T E S H Nitesh, and if I will write N I T E S H in capital, so it will now the function is performing well, but I am not getting any value because this Nitesh and this smaller Nitesh and capital large Nitesh are not equal. Let's see what will happen if I will take a string array. I am going to drag and drop the size from top to bottom and I T E S S N I T E S H N I T E S H N I T E S H N I T E S H N I sorry N I T E S H space suppose it is my another array it is suppose it is my data type now i want to check where uh, sorry uh, now i want to check my data is present or not on this array so for that let's use this string just let's use this string as a my input string come here come into the comparison take a equal place here Create indicator. Right 
run only one this one is uh, this one is equal to nitesh here i had inserted one space that's why it's not equal to me if i will in, uh, reduce that in space then you will get two so not only uh, mathematic not only the numeric functions this comparison platform also so the polymorphic behavior it doesn't mean this comparison platform or comparison function cannot work with the numeric yes they can work with the numeric also let's take a comparison may okay create an indicator sorry come here create numeric make a connection like this create an indicator place here drag it run the program okay one and one are present in the first two is not present three are present in the one location and four are present in the two location okay so it is a complete explanation about the polymorphism so thank you for watching this video if you have a more logic and you if you have the more information about the polymorphism then please let me know drop your comments on the comment section so thank you